we are talking about something of extraordinary importance. If we continue on the present trajectories, uh, obesity will replace tobacco as the number one preventable cause of death in the United States. Overweight children are at a far greater risk of developing a whole host of adverse health consequences, including cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, and other chronic diseases. These chronic diseases are linked to obesity, and they're a catastrophe. We are raising a generation of youngsters who are overweight, obese, and can be saddled with more disease than we could ever imagine. Where my CDC epidemiologist told me, Surgeon General Carmona, this could be the first generation of children that lives less than its parents in the history of this nation. Wow. We have to be a nation that begins to embrace prevention. I spent a lot of time on preparedness issues because of the obvious, the war, anthrax, weapons of mass destruction, to terrorism health disparities, and health literacy. And yet when I look at all of those mandates within my portfolio, obesity raised its ugly head in each one. So it seems to me that if we are going to solve obesity, of which we will have many things to discuss in this table, we have to think about it as a comprehensive targeting population, family, community, corporate America and media, schools and government. I think that government has to do something, whether it's from the state level or from the real federal government, because I have to tell you that policy can change culture, and the same way that happened with tobacco, we can fight this war. Remember, different from tobacco, you do not have to smoke, but you have to eat three meals a day. And therefore, we have to intervene in the way that is brought to our table, in the way that is labeled, in the way that the family understands it, and more than anything, in a way by which the children who are happen to be socially isolated because of the way they look, that cannot be concealed, become parts of this community and this United States fabric by no fault of their own. They are being stigmatized, and most of them are from minority neighborhoods, so we have to do something about it. We have to see that obesity becomes very much in the parlance of the average American. Childhood overweight and obesity are among the foremost health challenges of our time. Their effects permeate the United States healthcare system and will do so for decades to come. Their implications for healthcare policy and for health justice are enormous. So are, in fact, the costs. Changing policy in this town is not easy. Influencing policy is not easy. Our major success in this to date was a 2004 wellness policy passed by Congress, basically saying that if a school received funds for free breakfast, free lunch, and that's true of, of most public schools. That school had to have in place a wellness policy dealing with physical activity and nutrition. There are policy opportunities for providing uh, safe communities for people to be physically active, planned communities in terms of physical activity and good nutrition, and there are major policy implications in each one of those. Obesity and overweight is really a societal issue, and it touches everybody. <clears throat> When you stop and think about it, it touches commerce, it touches transportation, it touches uh, housing and urban development, it touches education, it touches defense, it touches everyone. We need to be looking at connecting dots from the public sector, from the private sector, from the corporate sector, from financing, from all of these sectors coming together in a convergence. Standing shoulder to shoulder, all of the former Surgeons General are saying, this is a problem, America, listen.